video board where we are going to talk about multicast addressing right we just need we need these addressing because we are not representing one host now we can represent multiple hosts with one single address and that is your multicast ip address we can represent these hosts with one single mac address that is going to be your multicast mac address as simple as that right so what is happening guys if you see your complete ip address range you will find few addresses address classes right if i talk about that there is one range which start from 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 to 127.255.255.255 255, that is your class a range huge class right then we are having another range which start exactly after this number which is going to be 128.0.0.0 to 191.255.255.255 and this is your class b the class c start from exactly after this number which is going to be your 192.0.0.0 223 right dot 255 dot 255 dot 255 and most of the time we network engineer deals with them we see all these addresses right generally what we don't see we don't see addresses like 224.7.9.8 or 236.5.7.6 no but believe me the range which starts from 224.0.0.0 to 239.255.255.255 255, right this is exactly your magical address range or multicast address range so whatever the address i was writing x dot x dot x dot x this could be anything from these this range it could be 239.1.1.1 and believe me all the routers and switches who can understand ip addressing right they understand that if i am if they are receiving a packet which wants to go to 239.1.1.1 they will treat it as a special address because it belongs to a special class of addresses and that special class is also known as class d as simple as that the important fact is all the addresses in this class are starting from this binary number the binary number is one 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 zero i'm talking about this octet right ip address is four octet and that is why we have these four different numbers right this is my first octet so all the multicast addresses starts from if I talk about binary, then this octet will be having eight binary numbers. And out of these eight binary numbers, the starting four are also always going to be 1110. You don't believe? Let's check it, right? Suppose I'm talking about the starting numbers. You know that uh, multicast range start from 224 and it goes to 239. You all know about it, right? I'm talking about the first octet. And I'm saying the first octet is start with 1110. If you keep all other octet elements as zero, what this number is going to be? This number will be 239. Just calculate. This is just a simple calculation, means you are converting a binary number to a decimal number. And how to do that? You just calculate the place value. This is at the seventh place. So you are doing 1 into 2 to the power 7 this is at the sixth place if you count from here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right this is at the sixth place so 1 into 2 to the power 6 this is at the uh, this is at the fifth place 1 into 2 to the power 5 and all are zeros right so multiply a uh, multiplication of zero is going to be result into zero if you add these numbers 2 to the power 7 is equal to 128 2 to the power 6 is equal to 64 
and 2 to the power 5 is equal to 32. If that is the case, if you add them, it is going to give you a result of 224 and that is what your starting range is. Suppose I am saying that the starting four bits are going to be fixed, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is fixed. I can change this as simple as that, right? Let's change it, 0, 0, 0. I am changing last bit from 0 to 1. If this is 1, believe me guys, this is going to be, sorry, this is not 239, by the way. Sorry, I made a mistake. This is 224. Okay. And suppose if I change this 0 to 1, what is going to happen? Now this will become 225 because you all know from here to here, these were 224. And if I add 1 to it, it is going to be 225. As simple as that. If I do here 1, 0, 0, 0, right? And this number is fixed. The next number is going to come as 226 and it will go to if I make all as 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. If you calculate this, this will be resulting into 239. As simple as that. I never do such kind of calculation in binary number. If I'm doing it, there is a specific reason behind it. Right? You will come to know about this reason in my next class. Believe me. I do not want to confuse you, but this much should, you should understand that the multicast range is from 224 to 239. And if you go at the bit level, it always starts with triple one zeros. As simple as that. These are your magical multicast address. So now the question comes, as I mentioned, you are not going to do the ARP to know the MAC address for a corresponding IP multicast address. Suppose you have an MAC uh, IP address as 239.1.1.1. You want to send your packet to this destination address. If you are sending your IP packet to this destination address, what should be the MAC address? As I mentioned, 239.1.1.1 .1 is not representing single machine it is representing it could represent multiple machines and router and switches no because they know tcp ip and they know that right now i am talking about the class d addresses and those addresses are pretty special but what should be the mac address corresponding to this believe me we can calculate it right and Whoever is the developer of multicast, he has written some rules. You all know that IP address is your 32 bits address. I need to calculate an multicast address from this, sorry, multicast MAC address from this IP address. If I want to do that, believe me, you all also know that the multicast MAC address or the MAC address should be 48 bit long. And I am creating a 48-bit number from a 32-bit number, which is quite not possible, right? So what these guys have done, they are saying, if that is the case, you all know that 48 bits are required for the MAC address starting 24 bits. These multi guys guys have fixed and they are saying, it should always be 01005E. So 0100 and 5E should be the starting 24 bits. And now you must be thinking, Mr. Vishnu, are you joking? Where are the 24 bits here? So I am saying this is written in hexadecimal system. In hexadecimal system, one character corresponds 4 bits. So here we have 4 bits, 4 bits, 4 bits, 4 bits, 4 and 4. If you add them, these are going to be 24, right? You can convert hexadecimal into binary also. Use calculator, use anything, but you can convert them. I just, I am just interested in making a 48-bit MAC address. So they say starting 24 bits are fixed. The multicast MAC address should start from this range as simple as that. The next one bit is always zero. So we are done with the 25 bits. Right? How many remains? 
remaining are 23 because 25 plus 23 is 48 so, so they are saying last 23 bits you can take from the ip address very very interesting right and last three bits are which one if i convert this 239 1.1.1 into uh, uh, bits so this one will be transformed into 0, 0, 0, 0, right and then 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. this one will be here then the next 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. although i can convert 239 also but i need to take only 23 bits so these are the 8 bits these are the 8 bits and here i have another 8 bits but i will take only 7 because 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 7 23 so i will take 23 bits of ip address and if i combine them it is going to be, give me a 48 bit results as simple as that on next page i have actually written this right this is my multicast ip address special address it represents a group of host we have 239 which can be converted into binary as this one 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 if i want to write the mac address what it is going to be it is going to be zero one zero zero and five e these are representing my starting 24 bits please do convert into this bits notion right the next 25th bit is going to be zero according to the rule whatever they have made right and the last 23 bits are going to be from here to here and not this one calculate it and you are going to get it believe me i haven't finished this discussion yet but i want to stop this discussion on ip addressing right now because you then you must be thinking that there is too much of mathematics going on mr vishnu and that's true in not our native language which is decimal number you are always uh, today you are talking everything in binary actually i have to right and that is why i do not want to discuss more mathematics but there is still a catch in this right and that is one of the most important gets so i will give you one day to actually right process this information whatever i just said you whatever i just told you right and tomorrow or whenever our next class is i will be letting you know what is that catch although right now i have made sure I have made sure that if you have an IP address, which is a multicast address, you can convert on your own that address to multicast MAC address. As simple as that. Right? So we have some information about layer 3 multicast address. We have some information about layer 2 multicast address. As simple as that. Right? Now, as I promised, that I...